Today I'm making an overview video about Tesla, the king of disruption, but truly the true king of disruption is Elon Musk. As per CERN Basher, you can look at it, him on X. He says, Musk Inc, a disruption machine. I agree with him. So Elon Musk is an innovator, a disruptor, and you can see it in this picture with the companies of Tesla, X, XAI, SpaceX, Neuralink, and the Boring Company, you see what Musk is disrupting. We'll cover mainly today Tesla, which is the focus of the video, but there's other sectors where Elon Musk is also disrupting. So it's going to be an overview of the different sectors of Tesla, but after that, at the end, I'm going to go through the charts because recently the stock has been moving and forced me to open back a position that I had a while back because of the price action, because of the future potential of Tesla. So we'll go over that. I hope you learn a little bit about the company. Many people don't understand it properly. It's wrongly valued. Therefore, it's an opportunity for those who look into it, study it, and see beyond actually what they're doing today versus what they will become in the future. So the main sectors that Tesla will disrupt are listed here. We'll go over them one by one. So first, autos and insurance. Second, energy and utilities. Third, transport, transportation and trucking. Commuting and travel. Manufacturing and labor. AI chips and systems and cloud computing. So let's start with autos and insurance. I won't list the different models and things like that that Tesla has. Many people know that more, way more than I do. So there's different classes of cars. They're looking towards the $25,000 car, which in my opinion will disrupt absolutely everything related to fuel cars because price drives decision on consumers. So if they have a car that is cheaper than a gas car and is electric and requires less maintenance, automatically people will choose those cars as long as they are reliable and they're not breaking left and right. If the quality is good enough due to the price, the decision will be to buy those cars. Tesla is working on that, reducing the price of the cars and then completely disrupting the automotive field because they have the possibility of manufacturing these cars extremely quickly, extremely cheaply the way they do it, cheaply in terms of cost, not in terms of quality. And robotics are involved more and more in this whole manufacturing process. So once you have a very automatic way of making these cars, it's going to be less and less costly. They're going to be able to quickly ramp up the production of those cars. And like I said, if the quality is maintained, they will disrupt all the normal companies that you see due mainly to economics, the prices of the cars. The other thing that comes with the cars and something that has crept up a lot recently is insurance. If you notice, with inflation, the cost of insurance of houses, cars, has gone up substantially. And that tendency is not going to stop. Tesla has a safety profile of their cars that is extremely high. Therefore, the insurance costs are less. And if they have a big disparity between the cost of insurance of a Tesla car versus a normal petrol or gas car, if you want, it's going to be a second incentive to migrate from a traditional car to a Tesla electric car. Those two items for me in relation to the automobile will really put Tesla on another level versus the other manufacturers. On top of that, the manufacturers have been 
cutting on their innovation towards electric cars. And in my opinion, electric cars are the future. Why? Because we're going to increase exponentially the capacity of capturing solar electricity in the future. If there's something that we have abundantly, technically there's two things, hydroelectric power, but it's kind of tricky to construct those structures. But once the construction is done, it's a permanent production of electricity, but the sun will always be there as long as we capture that energy efficiently and we are able to store it, then it can be used for all kinds of activities. And I think that aspect will increase over time in the next 5, 10, 20 years and will have an abundance of energy at one point, not yet, and that will push the adoption of electric ways of trans transportation, and that includes all the automobile aspect of the company. So the second item is energy and utilities. This is a growing sector within Tesla. They have been getting contract after contract related to utilities that they are constructing to capture, again, electricity for small cities. One of the main countries that has had many contracts with Tesla recently is Australia. So this sector will increase a lot in the next few years. Margins in this sector are also extremely high for Tesla. That includes all the battery manufacturing that they're doing, that it's also linked to the uh, different models that Tesla is selling. So with time, all the different processes to generate those batteries and that those utility structures are going to be evolved, are going to be made easier on the manufacturing side. Therefore, they're going to be cheaper and they will disrupt because once you have that at scale and you can produce tons of them, then you will have that abundance and that dominance of electric storage, electric distribution, charging that is required for all the different vehicles that will be linked to those utilities. And that also includes the uh, robots that Tesla is developing. So that's the energy sector. You can go into the uh, Tesla presentation to see how profits in that division have been increasing quarter after quarter. The third sector is transportation and trucking. Trucking, they're developing the semi that is going to disrupt transportations overnight. What types of uh, trucks are going to be available in the future? Reduce quite a lot the amount of fuel required on the road. The efficiency of these trucks is going to be improved over time and the possibility of using FSD and be able to move those trucks without drivers in the future will be mind-boggling because that will completely disrupt the transportations of goods throughout the US first and then all over the world once those trucks are on the road. Obviously, FSD needs to be approved, needs to be efficient, needs to be safe, but they are very, very close to getting that already set up for their different models of cars, their different models of cars, and that will eventually migrate towards the semis that they will be selling. They're going also to be cost effective because the life of those trucks can be improved quite a bit and you'll recoup the value of the trucks just on the economy of fuel very quickly. And again, Tesla has the option of manufacturing these semis in a very efficient way. The cost of fabrication of each truck will go down over time and that will contribute to the efficiency of production but also the margins when they eventually start selling 
these trucks regularly. On the transportation side, we saw recently the iRobot event where they're talking about the RoboTaxi. Already in 2024, in, I'm doing this video in November 2024, we are very, very impressed with the status of the RoboTaxi. FSD has been used by many owners of Tesla already. I'm not one of them, but I've seen many people talk about FSD as extremely impressive already in November 2024. And because Tesla is constantly collecting more and more data, analyzing more data and using the AI power of the company to train these cars that eventually are going to be automatic robots to appropriately take decisions on the road. This will disrupt everything related to transportation. It, it's beyond the taxi and the hailing, the different uh, apps that we have right now, meaning calling a car, getting to, from point A to, to point B. Yes, that's one thing, but it's going to disrupt way more than that. I believe in the future, we will have families that will buy one or two Tesla cars like that. And these two cars will be, will be in, a, in a loop between family members and those cars will be able to move all the members of the family from house to school, from house to work, from work to home, from work to appointments, things like that. And it will really disrupt the way we use cars in the future. I do not believe that everybody will have cars eventually will use less cars because these cars will be able to move the people that we need to move around within our family, but also we could eventually move other people from point A from to point B when these cars are not in use. This will disrupt extremely a lot of sectors of personal transportation. It will reduce the amount of emissions for the environment and will for the first time use efficiently a car for optimal movements from point A to point B as now it's not even close to efficient. Every person who has a car does not use it all the time and most of the time, more than 90% of the time of the life of the car, it's either in the parking lot of your company or it's in the parking lot of your house and it's absolutely doing nothing. So this will disrupt in a very, very important way how we move and how costly it will be in the future. Tesla has absolutely no competition in this field, in my opinion, and only this could be life-changing for the company. This discussion that I just had is also linked to commuting and travel. Why? Because if we have it, optimal FSD, then you were going to start thinking about, well, should I take the plane instead of the car? If I have FSD in the car, I can work in the car throughout my movement and use the charging system to get from point A to point B, even though the distance may be bigger. So yes, you could have a four, six hour, maybe a 10 hour drive on the car, you're not using a plane, you're not going through all the hassle of the plane, we're burning zero fuel because we're using electricity in the car versus the pollution generated by planes. And we have the flexibility that once we are in the new city that we're visiting, we still have the car to move around efficiently. There's no need to take the plane and then rent a car over there. So all these combinations where commuting and travel, especially for business related people, uh, it's going to be way more efficient. People will be able to work in the car. At one point, if it gets really, really safe, people will eventually even, in my opinion, sleep in the car. So this could even be able to let people drive overnight from point A to point B 
in the car in the future. There's some limitations of what you could do, but the potential is extremely high. Now, for manufacturing and labor relation in relation to the robots, to the robot. Uh, manufacturing, obviously, Tesla has all kinds of patents for automation of manufacturing, optimization of manufacturing from batteries to cars, to robots, to chips, to eventually anything that they will want to build, okay? So they have that expertise the engineers are extremely talented and have optimized these processes already. And I'm sure in the future, they will only improve. Why will this disrupt labor? Well, the robots will do and already started helping in the Tesla manufacturing facilities already with small tasks. It's going to be a gradual implementation of the use of these robots initially i think they use it for taking batteries and put them in boxes simple tasks that can be done by humans also but these robots can do this 24 7 constantly and way more efficiently than any human tasks that i have thought about are robots displacing boxes from point a to point b in warehouses, robots that can be sentinels, security uh, around buildings, within buildings, things like that can be easily performed by robots. Very repetitive and simple tasks are optimal for robots and that will free talented humans to be doing something that robots cannot do at this stage. Yes, there's going to be labor displacement but there's also going to be very, very important gains in efficiency. That means that the costs of shipping may drop in value. Why? Because the robots can load trucks more efficiently. They can do it 24 seven. If they break, they can be easily replaced by another robot. There's no real downtime on the amount of work that they can do. Once you have absorbed the cost of the robot, the robot can really save each company a lot of money when it turns to salary, insurance, um, hours of work, things like that. Yes, it will not be fun for many workers, but I think there's going to be a gradual shift of this labor and we have to evolve. This could really help inflation because the efficiency of the robots will bring prices down and if prices of goods or delivery of goods or things like that go down then we will have improvements in inflation and when we have that society wins overall so disruption with regard to robots i think it's scratching the surface right now and Tesla is way ahead of everybody, extremely ahead of everybody. And only this section of the company could be extremely lucrative in the future. And that's what Wall Street is unable to see coming. They are driven by what the company can do right now and not necessarily where the company is going. And that's when everyday investors like you and me can exploit that lack of vision from Wall Street and buy shares cheaply, keep them for a long time, and then collect the gains in five to 10 years. And that's what investing is all about. Seeing disruption, catching the wave before everybody, going hard on a company that we believe will be very successful, and then do nothing. Be patient and see the value coming in to your portfolio. That's pretty much it. Now, AI chips and systems. Well, in this sector that touches a lot of the previous sections of the company, Tesla is developing AI networks within the company that will help teach the robots how to learn tasks. They're going to improve FSD, 
for commuting, travel, transportation, and all the different models of cars that they are selling. So the AI part of the company is extremely powerful because it improves exponentially. Tesla is investing billions of dollars in this sector and the accumulation of data cannot be copied. You actually have to accumulate the data in order to have all the information and then extract that information and apply it to different tasks that you want to have. Other companies do not have that lead. Tesla has the lead and this makes a moat around Tesla, a wall that completely blocks competition from the company. The lead is so huge that most probably a lot of companies will ask Tesla for licenses for help in AI analysis in the future, data analysis in the future, FSD will most probably be shared to other manufacturers maybe if they choose to. If not, they will let them slowly decay and go bankrupt pretty much because nobody will be buying their cars eventually if they don't have the same features as uh, Tesla cars. In terms of the robo taxi, the same thing. That's how they will be teaching these cars to move around without the driver safely from point A to point B. The same system will also teach robots more and more complicated tasks as we all go along. And I believe Tesla will plan to rent the robots. You won't be able to buy them. It's going to be renting so that Tesla can have control over the bots for evident security reasons. But I believe the data handling AI part of the company is the greatest value that Tesla has as of now because this will exponentially improve all the different sectors of the company and obviously generate a shield to protect from competition. And the AI systems with cloud computing will also be integrated. These all go, go all together because everything is moving towards the internet, live updates, training of the different types of data that they receive and having data centers built to accumulate all this data, to process all this data, to extract the critical information from this data and deploy to the different sectors of the company. So they are heavily investing in these sectors. They will continue to heavily invest in those sectors, but their lead is so high, so big that I believe Tesla is on its own. And that's why is the company that will disrupt many, many sectors. And some of the sectors that are not covered here could actually arise from future evolutions of what Tesla comes up with. So this could be the start of a disruption domination in all these fields and additional fields that Elon Musk and his team, because it's not only him, it's also all the talented people within the company that are contributing to develop these systems. Day in and day out, the company improves every single day. And in my opinion, in the last five years have not really disappointed too much. Yes, there have been delays and things like that, but they are challenging, difficult problems. And if it was easy, it would have been solved years ago. And it takes time, you need to be patient. But once they have an efficient solution, then that's when value gets unlocked. And that's what gives Tesla its moat, its special place in the investing world. And that's why I believe it's one of the most important companies right now that you need to look into. So now let's have a look at the chart of the company that has recently started moving upwards. So here's the chart of 
Tesla, this is the four hour, we'll go to the four hour, the daily and the weekly, just to see the progression of the stock recently. So the performance, six months, 85%, the last three months, 63%, the last month, 30%, and the last week, 27%. So recently, the stock moved. I had a position in Tesla, and I moved it into um, crypto proxies because I thought that Tesla would take longer to start moving upwards. I was wrong and the stock started moving so I had to find a way to start a position of Tesla. The current position that I have, I want it to be 10 times bigger than what it is right now but at this stage I cannot do it. So in the future I'll probably take some profits from the proxy the crypto proxies and start slowly building up that Tesla position that I want at least to be 10 times what I have right now just to give you an idea of my plan so in the four hour chart we saw that the chart recently touched a bottom of $181 that was in August of 2024 so in last summer and since then, it has gradually come up. But since the RoboTaxi event, things have changed. And now volume is back. Price action is to the upside. And most of this uptrend was triggered, like I said, by the RoboTaxi event. But mainly because Tesla is one of the companies that has more short coverage. A lot of people are extremely negative towards Tesla and therefore they short the stock a lot. And all those people and those companies who have shorted the Tesla stock have painfully seen the stock fly from a low here of 213 to now over 320. And I believe this uptrend will continue mainly due to short sellers. And the more short sellers they have, the quicker the stock price will rise. If you're an investor in Tesla looking to invest, please, please do not short this stock. It's like, like exactly the same thing as people who are shorting Bitcoin right now they are getting wrecked left and right they're losing tons of money please do not do this these companies are disruptive and when they move they can move extremely quickly extremely fast and short sellers are going to get wrecked so i completely i've never sold i've never had a short position for any company I don't do it, but especially these two, Bitcoin and Tesla, it's completely reckless to go that route. That's my opinion, and that is financial advice. Do not do it. So as you see here, up and to the right for the four hour chart, the MA50 now is trying to catch up. It's at 265, while the stock price is 322. The MA200 is turning. We cover all the different sectors of Tesla. They are all coming in the same direction, contributing more and more to generate profits for the company. Some are small, some are huge, some have absolutely zero impact right now, but they will have in the future. And that's how you need to see Tesla. Tesla is not a car company. It's an AI disruptive company that can branch out to different sectors of the economy and when they pick a sector that they want to disrupt usually they are quite successful so that's the only view that you need to look for tesla what they will do in the future very few people know it's very difficult to determine how impactful they will be but the thing that you can say is that they will have an impact they will extract value and they will bring that value into the company and share that value with shareholders of the company.
as you will see i'm not gonna make predictions on price future prices but one thing that i can tell you is that for the next five to ten years the stock is going higher that's it and you need to have that vision because disrupting complicating sectors or issues that have never been fully attacked and completely modified and completely disruptive do not take three months six months to be solved it takes time but once the solution is in place watch out because they can be extremely dominant in their position so up and to the right for the forward chart triggered by the robo taxi event a lot of volume coming in the momentum is very bullish for tesla on the daily we see this jump in price and we also see that huge trend line downwards that we had coming in we will see it more clearly in the weekly chart but we stabilize around 140 which was the best price to get the stock obviously now it's very easy to say but every anything below 200 dollars i think was an amazing bargain for people who got in i just recently got in so i was in the sector before i had profits i took profits i closed my position like i said but now i had to open it up and i had to open it up higher but i don't mind because i'm investing for the next five ten years and the difference between 220 and 320 when the stock is way higher will not be that significant to me that's what i'm sharing again on the daily you see recently the spike in price similar to what we saw in july that initially triggered the first breakout that failed but now we broke out this downwards tendency we touched it back again so that was the retest and then we exploded in price this type of structure in s like that breakout touch back to support and exploding in price if you see that in a stock usually it's the establishment of a new solid solid uptrend for this is not a for a few days this is going to be for months and years of a new tendency upwards for tesla so this is the weekly chart and now we see that downtrend that had a peak of 410 dollars again we touch back at even 100 on the weekly chart here in january of 2023 was the best price since the all-time high of 400 dollars you see the the stock lost 300 dollars on the way down here i know that many people were able to hold their shares accumulate all this period patiently because they had conviction on tesla and what they can do and now they've been rewarded with this price action investing in trading is not necessarily a daily or a weekly thing sometimes you need to be patient have conviction on your asset accumulate go hard on it be patient and then you have the rewards so as you see here this move is a major move and i'm expecting that we're going to go very quickly to all-time highs and beyond all-time highs very very fast we will in my opinion we are like here at the beginning of this trend that started at 22 dollars and ended up at 400 we're going this is a signal here at the bottom we're starting a completely new cycle for tesla and the stock will be successful for the next five to ten years like i indicated how high will it go nobody knows i cannot tell you where it's going to go but the certainty of where they are going higher it's very high probability that's why for me it's a no-brainer and i will be accumulating on the way up unfortunately i wasn't able to capture shares before it's okay sometimes it happens but i'm aware of the potential of this company 
their ability to disrupt is beyond any company that I own. Happy to be an investor and happy to be an investor for a long time. And for those who start investing, this stock is a no-brainer, in my opinion. Not financial advice, but when you invest in disruption, you invest for the future and you collect the gains of the future. And Tesla ticks all the boxes of a disruption leader in the future that will help humanity, help different sectors, help potentially bring prices down and help inflation in North America initially and eventually in the world with their products. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll monitor Tesla in the upcoming years and you will not be disappointed. Ciao.